No <laughs> random. Oh, the sniper. Right. Interesting thoughts. Killing these heroes, you want to absorb a lot of spells as the Nyx Assassin and, and let them think that they can kill you like they are up top. Let yeah. them think, though. Uh, don't actually die. Well, that's going to be it. Mickey moves on in and cleans up the power of the dual breath there combined with just a little avalanche toss. Anything there to get your HP back up. And he missed there on the Zai, able to dodge away from that one. That high movement speed for the Brood. And now Lardy looking for more punches. The tag team, a couple more hits. Chrysalis in trouble. They can't quite get in range, but they do bring him down. Zai already putting to work on him, although up top, Insania, he's in some trouble. Throws out the dual breath, and Rezo Zai is able to pair together to get that kill on the Jakiro. Drafting phase just like that Enigma, but it's all the space and the time that the hero's gonna buy for you. So it's a nice one yeah. there for puppies. I mean, that's one of those that could suddenly be the death of Misha if they're not careful. But Resolution stuck around Radiant's down in the top lane, the tree toss. Nigga cleaned him up. Mid lane as well. And. Foxy, he tested for a ward when they did that initial gank. Oh, there we go. Jumps in Sonic Wave, but Tumble Man turns, looks to fight, a couple more punches, Nisha also goes down. They get one kill first, now Zayat's gonna be chased through the river but with no more mana. They can't clean up that Nyx Assassin. Great hang to the small camp, they're hitting this tower. And so they're gonna try and counter pressure on top. Mickey is not aware this is coming. Oh, standing still for a moment, Avalanche to interrupt before the ring gets out. Any TP rotations, not seen up. Okay, tries to get away, but they bring four, drop the ring, drop everything. This color tiny is going to be brought down in the end. That was a lot of heroes there for that one. And again, uh, the sort of question I have is at what point does this break down? Is it just around ulti timings? Yeah, that is the real question, right? Like, who wants to make the first move? Bottling the regen, Boxy get chased, a couple more punches, they have denied available, but can't get it. Instead, it's gonna be Boxy going down in exchange for Zayat. So, just a couple of heroes traded off Zai, caught for a moment with the pulverize, but he does manage to escape from there. Arcane Curse onto the Brood, backs away. Yeah, Chris is also rotating over for this. I mean, not that it's that much of a punish on a Monkey King, huh? He's like already back up top after TPing there, so... Uh, Chris is well aware of how to abuse this hero, and... Uh, I like the fact that... Oh, jumped in! That blink was mighty aggressive, sir! <laughs> Nisha smelled some blood in the water. It was his own, though. Yeah. He's like, you never know, right? Die first in the fight, obviously, if you just get the buyback, and the ult, he can turn everything when they're trying to target you. How much can they get out of this now? Mickey, he shows up! Link, Tumblr's toy, went for a spell, puppy down low, gonna get Walrus punched to death, the buyback though, is. and the global. Need to get out with the rest of them, they will bring down one, Mickey to fall, and, but Tumblr Man also goes down! Isha was right on top of him, trying to finish him off, a couple more hits, and it is gonna be enough. But still, a big win after dive. Yeah, between Radiant's all the cores and the supports in this game, attack. which is something that particularly Liquid usually doesn't really have, right? Like, they tend to have the supports pretty close to their three, but... And toss back, Macro Pyre, Zayat's on Mickey, Rezo dropping low, is gonna die. Nisha hanging out in that Macro Pyre, too. Good Boundless Strike, the chase down, Mickey trying to survive, but he's gonna die, and Matumbo Man can't get there in time to help out for this fight. If it continues a little bit longer, they might be able to make something happen, though. Turns now onto the Monkey King. Puppy goes down. Dead for 25. Chrysalis still trying to escape. Yeah, nice path. Zai chasing. Foxy right on top. The slow down. The Monkey King. This would be such a huge kill if they could bring down Chrysalis, and they will. Liquid. This dive bears fruit. Yeah, Chris is just feeling that pressure. You know, he was the lowest carry ultimate on the hero because he can farm anywhere on the map. He TPs in, he wants to get that fight with a boundless strike, but the punish is there from Liquid. They're ready for that attempt. Foxy runs down to Zayats. Can they find more? Mickey, he's got his blink dagger. Nisha right up on the high ground, jumps in. Ava interrupted the taunt, but the global. Boxy caught a couple more punches, but they're not quite going to get there in time. Matu, a couple more hits. He gets away. Resolution being chased by Mickey, so a trade so far. Support for support. Another round of Avalanche, but they can't get him. Yeah, there's no talk. He gets turned on to now. And with Matu there, has to immediately run away. They also snowballed Nisha. Mickey, Foxy went in for this. Foxy in very far. Can't get a deny, so secret. Yeah. Clean up that tusk. I think it was Zayat being in proximity that Mickey didn't want to jump. They've also struggled a lot more this game to get their vision down. And that's something that Liquid have in space. They see all of this. They 
find one. Mickey just a little bit late on it. Puppy not caught by the shard. Zai wants to chase. They're going into danger zone, though. Avalanche, toss, punch, dead. No buyback this time around. Mickey, he's going to get chased. The toss, the impale, needs to delay this a little bit longer. They get the stun onto the Queen of Pain, but Mickey, he's gone. Nisha tries to survive. No. It's killed off. Zai right on top with those spawn. Spiderlings and Chrysalis. Yeah, careful. Ooh, Monkey King has to be careful. Like the like the biggest win that maybe I was expecting from Liquid, considering how much setup and prep and like they had for the moment. Yeah, when those don't pay off, it could be pretty rough. Chrysalis feeling comfortable playing around this ward, but Liquid's gonna run right up to a high ground. They find one, Puppy dead. Buy back again, so they can't go for the global. They drop down the ice pad, connects onto two. Stun there, Nisha Walrus punch, dropping low, but gets away. Tiny has already died in exchange for the silencer. It's pain the primal beast. They're all very capable of fighting at this point in the game, uh, but they're also fairly capable in terms of their scaling and the options they have. Obviously, uh, the Monk King being one of the best hard carries going late, so uh, Liquid are much more all in on the sniper. That was not the global he was hoping it was going to be. As he drops immediately, global down with Aegis in hand. This is Liquid's time to party. Feels like he's been working on this uh, this first item forever. Like had the ghost ever queued up. Uh, almost immediately in this game, but just keeps going down and wants to hold that uh, potential goal for the buyback as well, I'm sure. As a movement up, Nisha found. Ice path there, Nisha going to die. Mickey finds that target. That ward, that was huge. Yeah, doing so much work for them. Obviously, Secret is to Sunder cross map, but how about the fact that Zai hasn't died yet? That's been crazy. In a first phase Broodmother versus Queen of Pain, Monkey King, and a Primal Beast. And they were hunting him for so long. Insania, he is gonna go down though. He's died a couple times. Yeah, that's a, that's a classic. There's 50 seconds left on that Aegis, so there's a bit of a window in terms of, you know, if they want to have a later fight, but this could also just be the, you know, you're down one hero, you're probably gonna split up and Primal's trying to grab a kill. Zai spots him immediately, needs to hide away, but there's nowhere to hide. You had to cast a curse some Trent. You talk about how he doesn't have any deaths, immediately goes down. But it was impressive. <laughs> Uh, I saw some circles on the map there from Rezo. Seems to have a great idea of where Liquid are playing. Heading down bottom, Insania's there. They've got the jump right at the start. Find themselves two, but the Spike Carapace. Will it be enough global to interrupt? And they get the control onto this Tusk. Can they find any more? Zai, he can only look on. Mickey has to run away. Crystal is still right on top. The BKB wearing off soon. Insania's there. He can't stop him. Still BKB runs away. Mickey getting that separation from Chrysalis. He goes down. But Tumba Man needs to survive, needs to do the damage. A couple more hits. He's surviving through it all. Oh the little sniper that good as Rezo tries to clean it up. But Mickey comes in and takes him down. Zion, the last one in the fight, left alive. Liquid. They did it to him. That was a frightening fight of positioning there. He had to force that into the Wukong's command to survive. And then so he has to kill Chrysalis in that moment. Seconds until Roche is back up, though. They're gonna get there before it's up. And Secret, will they decide to go out and fight them? This is one of those big macro plays you're gonna see a lot in Dota. Maybe if you're new to the game, is that uh, pressuring that bottom tower to pull them away from that Roche Pit. Now Liquid want to take that territory. They want that vision here to have the good fight around the Roche Pit. And now they have the good fight, and Mickey, he finds the good pick off. Foxy, can they bring him down in time? Resolution so low, and Chrysalis on the back. Where is the man? He's not there to help him yet. He wants a better target to grab. Can they do it? Chase, Nisha finds him, gets the kill. Mickey, he's got to get out of there. BKB wants to run, nowhere to go though. The Bash is out. Nisha will manage to survive. Secret, they win that fight off of that global. A little bit of a risky play here. Yeah, gotta be careful. We're watching this replay, but in the game, they have the ice pad down, have good vision. Foxy, he's right away caught and killed. Does have buyback still. Matumba man, they're so close. And Roche is actually not quite low enough. Zayas finds Insania, but they can't get him. Find enough time for the rest of the team to show back up. The buyback is there from the Tusk. Matumba Man tries to show Mickey. Oh, Do they have the Nisha. damage? Gets the blink away. He's still solo and doesn't have a way to dodge this. But Nisha survives. 70 HP. I don't quite have it. Insane is now dead. Matumba Man. Oh, he's in Death Valley. Chrysalis right on top. Needs to get away. Foxy there for the punch. Matumba Man, though, he survives through it all. Liquid. They did it. <laughs> they actually did it. All the delays coming in from the supports. They kicked them out of the Roach Pit. They forced... Like, when do you actually pop the salty, right? Yeah. They try and go for an offensive play. Jumps go. in. They find it. Chrysalis immediately there with the BKB. He gets the four staff away. Gets Matu out, but the pulverizes there. So round one... Oh, actually, Matumba Man! He doesn't even go down! 
They keep him alive. He does finally fall to the Sonic Wave, but they needed that for that second life. He and never with... popped the BKB, though. He did hold it that whole time. Get the concussive grenade, drew it out a little bit further, Radiant's and losing Chrysalis is huge. Attack. That was so enormous for Radiant's Liquid, and taking this Tier 3 tower now, going on to the high ground secret. I don't know if they have enough left in the tank. They're going to smoke Science. up with everybody. It's all Science. He needs a big blink blink play. They got to find it. The big stun is there. The big interrupt. Resolution trying to kill him over the snowball. Foxy was there. Zayat now turned upon, but Tumba Man ready to clink them all down. Resolution trying to escape, but there is no escape. Matu is here! Matu is strong! Oh, Nisha tried to hold him back with the halberd. He was just there, stuck plinking away, helpless in his BKB, but it didn't matter. They didn't get enough done during that halberd. And now they've taken the high ground here. BP coming in. Zai sends the spiders with the pipe. Gotta watch the halberd from Nisha. Gotta watch the blink stuns from Zayats. Those are like, they can't even deal with the spiders. The spiders just take out. Oh, barely. Rezo has to charge through the kill. They're the taking the top. bottom one, too. He's splitting them up, splitting the defense. It's so hard. How do you even find it? And there it is. The blink in. The PKB. But do they have enough to get out? Chrysalis, a good stun, That's drops down the pop. ring. They have the damage. Can he survive through the right clicks coming from a tumble man, though? That sniper, he's just too strong. Radiant's they take down that melee Rax. Liquid wanting to get Mega Creeps. Oh, the Finish spiders. this one off. And they're gonna do it in style. Megas for Liquid. They, they have to go for this. They don't know that it's an illusion, obviously. Now they do, but if there's any chance for anybody to be caught off guard, it's uh, it's a quick jump. Feels like Zai's just has so much pressure on him as well. Like the best initiation oh. they've got right now. Oh Dang. my god, oh, they, they got not to win. The whole teammate, but can they get him? Rezo, no friends nearby. He too is gonna get brought down. All it takes is a couple of seconds. And is Liquid trying to close this one out here. The buybacks are out. Resolution into this game, but Liquid, will they be concerned? Still a minute until Roche is even capable of respawning. They don't want to deal with that mess. They want to end this now. Global out, BKB disarm, run away, Boxy there. Snowball through onto both. Nisha gone. Oh, he's our Liquid, they're cleaning up. They're taking him down. They're going to game three. Matu's not done yet. Let's go liquid cheers and then that's very loud from this crowd.